Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Storytime. I'm so excited that you decided to join me this morning. I'm looking forward to sharing today's gospel with you. First, let's do what we always do and light our candle. Does anyone remember why we light it? First, we light it to remind us that God is always with us. And second, we light it to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. Before I talk about the story, why don't you get comfortable, take a deep breath, and maybe close your eyes and listen while I read. It's from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 24 through 34. So I tell you, don't worry about the food you need to live, and don't worry about the clothes you need for your body. Life is more important than food, and the body is more important than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, but your heavenly Father feeds the birds, and you know that you are worth much more than the birds. You cannot add any time to your life by worrying about it. And why do you worry about clothes? Look at the flowers in the field. See how they grow? They don't work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that even Solomon with his riches was not dressed as beautifully as one of these flowers. God clothes the grass in the field like that. The grass is living today, but tomorrow it is thrown into the fire to be burned. So you can be even more sure that God will clothe you. Don't have so little faith. Don't worry and say, what will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? All the people who don't know God keep trying to get these things, and your Father in heaven knows that you need them. The thing you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things you need will be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Tomorrow will have its own worries. And that's the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do you have any worries? Do you have some worries today that maybe you didn't have last week? Why don't you take a moment and tell your parent or your sibling what your worry is? Today's gospel reminds us that even though we have worries, God knows what these worries are and he is there to help us if we have faith. How do you think God is showing us today to help you with your worry. Spend a second and tell your parent or your sibling where God is for you now. Maybe God for you right now is doing something familiar like story time. Maybe God is your parent playing your favorite game with you. Maybe God is your friend when you play together in a video chat. Now I want you to think about where you are God for someone else when they worry. Can you tell your parent or sibling? Are you God when you hug your mom or dad after they've had a long video call? Are you God when you video call your grandma and read her a story or show her a drawing you made? Are you God when you let your little sibling play with your special toy? I think so. With every act of kindness and helpfulness, you are being God for someone else. And even though you might not know what their worry is, you can help them feel God's love and help them live with joy right now and let tomorrow's worry not bother them today. Before we pray and sing, let's carry on what we started two weeks ago. Let's practice quieting our bodies and our minds, and let's be quiet together for 30 seconds. Okay, here we go.
Thank you. Did you make it? And now let us pray. You can repeat after me as you usually do. Almighty Creator, we have worries today, but we know that we but we know that we can ask you to be with us. We know that we can shine your light to others when they worry. And we can let others in to be your light to us. Amen. Now let us sing with Miss Anne, one of our favorites. On a day like this, on a day like this, on a day like this, oh, I need the Lord to help me. Let's add another one. On a day like this, on a day like this, on a day like this, oh, I need the Lord to help me. Let's add one more. On a day like this, on a day like this, on a day like this, oh, I need the Lord to help me. You think you can do one more? On a day like this, on a day like this, on a day like this, oh, I need the Lord to help me. It's getting hard now. Let's add another. On a day like this, on a day like this, on a day like this. Think we can do one more? I'm not sure if I can do one more. Let's see. On a day like this. Woohoo! On a day like this. Woohoo! On a day like this. Woohoo! Oh, I need the Lord to help me. Whew. Thank you, friends. Wasn't that fun? Did you get up? Did you move and stomp and swish your hands? I know I did. Thank you, friends, for being with me today. I look forward to seeing you live in Sunday School at 1015 on Facebook and live again for Legos for Lent. If you miss them live, though, you can pick them up on Facebook on our page or on our regular website. We'll have links to the videos after the they're done so have a great week ahead and don't hesitate to reach out and let me know how you're doing bye